What's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Art 101. My name is Eseway and I'm here to teach you how to make clouds with this. A big part of my work has clouds in them. I don't really have a particular reason, I just love the sky and how clouds can make a beautiful scenery. So let's get started shall we? The first step, and the one I consider the most important part of any art process, is observation. Clouds are always different in shapes, volume, density, and even color, it just depends on how light hits them. So go out and watch the sky for a while, pay attention to the form they make, or you can just look for reference inside Painting VR using their in-game browser. Now that we have already looked to a fair amount of clouds, let's get started, okay? I'm gonna start by painting the base color of the sky. Here you can see that I like to start with a low opacity flat brush. I always work with low opacity first so I can build up from there until I get the color I want. Here's an example of how different it looks with opacity turned all the way up. It just leaves this thick trail of paint and it's gonna be harder to get the sky effect this way. So I'll suggest lowering down the opacity and work your way up from there. And now let's grab our mixing palette and start making that nice blue tone for the sky. As you see, I'm taking paint directly from the color samples here on top. Just drag down that paint and start blending. Let me just add a little darker blue. There you go. Mix it well so we can get a nice blue tone. Now that I'm happy with the color I'm gonna use, let's go straight to the canvas. Now, start applying your base color, but once in a while just give little taps to the canvas. Don't try to make it a solid stroke. Also, give several brush strokes in order to get that blue going. Here, I had my opacity way too low, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more to achieve the results I'm looking for. Yeah, that will do it. Let's continue painting. Nice, this is more like it. See these white spots? This is why I give little taps so I can get that cloudy condensation effect. This is exactly what we're looking for. Let's start going down, but instead of making the whole canvas, leave out the spaces where you want your clouds to be. Remember, you can have small clouds or bigger ones, it's all up to you. Remember to keep hitting the canvas with those little taps. Here, I'll make them slower for you. Keep filling up your sky as much as you want. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to like it. Now that we have our base clouds layout, let's start adding mid-tones and shadows. This will give some depth and volume to your clouds. This part can be a little bit tricky because you don't want to go too dark for your shadows and mid-tones. Also, remember that Painting VR allows you to rescale your canvas. This way, it will be easier to control the detail in your clouds. Remember to start from low opacity. I think I need a little bit more of grey look, so I'll add a little bit of black. Now, be careful while adding black because this color tends to be so aggressive when mixing all your colors together, so be gentle with it. I had too much blue and white, so I had to add another dip of black to finally get the grey color I'm looking for. Now I'm going to add it following the bottom part of my cloud. Remember, these tones should be according to where your light is hitting the clouds. Don't worry if you overdid a little bit of that gray. We're gonna add some white from the base clouds and start mixing it all together in order to get that cloudy feel we're looking for.
Repeat your process with all of your remaining clouds. A big part of painting relays in patient. Don't rush it. Take your time and enjoy the whole process behind your piece. Trust me, this will make the final result so much rewarding. Also, if something doesn't look as you want, you can always go back and change your layout, adding more sky or even more clouds. Nothing is definitive, so you can always go back and change things to the way you like. Remember, a big part of art is trial and error. So, keep experimenting until you get what you want. And now for the final touch, I'm going to grab the small brush and add some highlights. This will make our clouds stand out a little bit more. I'm using white for this one. Here's why it's so convenient to rescale your canvas, you can pay extra attention to the detail. And with that, you just need to keep on adding as much detail as you want. But you now have completed the basics on how to make clouds. Congratulations! I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna do. Remember to upload your finished painting and don't forget to tag painting VR. This is it for today's video guys. My name is Sway. Keep on creating. See you the next time.